basically going to touch on sterilisation um, using Sterotech. Um, so, basically, we use this for um, uh, endemic disease re 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 or recovery, if you want. So, we've got AFB in our hive, we've killed our colony of bees. So, generally, we call it, and we talked about this earlier about knocking off a hive of bees which is being used for petrol. Looking at the old brood frames, we want to sterilise the equipment. You can go to Sterotech and have a gamma radiated. But there's only certain things you can take there. You can't take wet combs. So we've got AFB and we've got, we've got frames. Let's pretend. This has got AFB in it. And it's, uh, the, you know, the, the, the cocoons are there. There's cells, scale in there, um, and tongues and all that. So these frames, you know, what did we work out? They're $1.15 or something. They're not worth keeping. You burn them and bury them. They, these, or these would be deep burials. Look at your equipment and think, well, what's worth redeeming? Now, well, before you make your mind up on that, remember that you're a registered beekeeper. You've notified a disease either through a sample sent to Gribbles, um, pathology, or you've rung Daniel or myself or somebody else in the department. Um, means that you're eligible for compensation. So your compensation will basically will pay for your colony of bees and, um, and your equipment. So the frames, I wouldn't... You wouldn't keep your old brood frames. Get rid of those. You look at your equipment. You say, "Well, I think these boxes are good. I'm, I'm going to have them radiated." You can also elect to have them hot wax dip, but there are very few people who are uh, competent and commercially um, run good commercial wax dipping um, setups. Uh, if you decide to do your own wax dipping, it's it's quite expensive and quite elaborate to set up, and you basically you've got boiling paraffin these wax, a number of different sorts of waxes, you've basically got a boiling on site and in a tub big enough that you can submerge a number of these boxes, so it's quite dangerous. So to prepare your stuff for Sterotech, you don't want wet you, you don't want wet combs and that you have a you have a um, you have a maximum weight of twenty five kilos and a height of fifty nine centimetres. So Sterotech is an irradiation paint that's down at Dandenong. It's old fashioned. A person picks up every component and puts it in a bin by hand, and then that goes in a little train through an irradiation plant, a sealed off area. So we can't we can't exceed the weight as well. So we need to wrap everything too, because in each of these bins they're used for sterilising cosmetics, uh, dent, um, surgical materials, surgical bandages, some foodstuffs. So they don't want any residues. They don't want anything in these bins. So what the beekeeping industry. Um, the department and Sterotech have agreed on some years ago now is that we double bag everything. Everything double bag and then double strap. So when Joe Vlogs picks up that box to put it into this into this tub here, it's not going to come apart on him. It's not going to be he's not going to end up with honey all over himself, he's not going to end up sticky. So to double bag it, what we do is you split it up, there's a loose bottom board, well that's strapped there, but a loose bottom board, you put that in a in a garbage bag. This box here Nice and light, it's got some frames in it. You put that in a bag and tape it up. And you do that to each component. And then once they're all bagged, to double bag, then you just get one of those big, real heavy duty, like, like I suppose some people call them body bag. You know the big wheelie bin bags? Put the whole lot, tip it upside down, put that bag over it, and then tape that over, and then you double strap it. So with them lots, when you double strap it, I have to pull the frames out, you, your strap, your top of your strap, will go underneath, so you flip it over. So, we need to make it that when we drop stuff off at Sterotech, your M-lock strap, where you bring the, the ratchet over, that's here, so it's in between that. So when it goes into the bin, nothing sticks above 59 centimetres. So it's got to be under 25 kilos. That goes through there, and then once it's gone through Sterotech and comes back out the other side, you'll pay for that. And depending, you may elect to, while you're there, irradiate a few other bits and pieces that, that may be not associated with this diseased hive. But we get an invoice from you from Sterotech, and then we lodge that for your compensation. So if you've got, you've got some quick arithmetic here, if you've got, say, three triples that have got AFB and three colonies, that would be, look, if, if the, the main will pay for your radiation and, and, and it will pay for your queen. So then basically, with, without having much more of an outlay yourself, 
you can just go and buy packages of bees or then buy another colony of bees and then introduce coins. And you're really not going to be much out of pocket at all. Apart from petrol, we go to Serotech and drop your gear off. For commercial people that are doing this sort of work, what they do is they set it up on a pallet and they, they shrink wrap the whole lot and then they send it, and there's certain documentation that's got to go with it, but then they send it up to Brisbane because the plant up there, that actually everything's forklift. So you forklift it off a truck, goes onto their, their, onto their conveyor and then it goes through as a forklift. But here in Melbourne we've still got this facility down at the end of so it's quite good. Um, and the compensation, as far as compensation goes, um, the, the setup for that is basically, don't forget, you're registered as a beekeeper, you're notified of disease and you're eligible. There's no mysteries about it at all. Um, look, I'll leave it at that. With, with this, I think it's pretty...